Angel 6942 calling in. Angel 6942 calling in. Angel 6942 calling in. The date in human years is Friday the 11th of June 2021. And things in the UK have got very confusing about the ending of the lockdown uh, because some of the experts and leaders of the UK government have said that they shouldn't be lifting the end of the, they shouldn't be lifting the lockdown so early because there's been a sudden spread of the Delta variant uh, and that they are worried that because not everybody has been vaccinated those that have unvaccinated are at particular risk. They, they think you should wait until everybody's got vaccinated. Though there are other people that say that it would be a disaster if they didn't lift the lockdown in, when they planned because the economy is in dire straits, which I think was a ban from the 80s. Anyway, they're saying that the economy is in dire straits and that because there hasn't been so many people hospitalised because of the Delta variant, it should be safe and that people, enough people are vaccinated. So it's very confusing and they keep arguing, but that's what humans do. Um, now, do you remember Andrew, the multi-millionaire, billionaire, um, Operation Musical Theatre owner, that Andrew, well, apart from um, threatening to sue the government and also threatening to fire all those people that work for him that the government is paying for, he said that if the government doesn't lift the lockdown on the 21st of June, because he wouldn't be making enough money to keep his multi-billionaire, millionaire lifestyle, he would have to sell all of his theatres if they didn't lift lockdown on the 21st of June. That's terrible, isn't it? Though, I do wonder if the business was going to be so terrible, who would actually buy those theatres? Maybe he'll do what that Peter person did a few years back and sell all his theatres for a pound. In which case, I think the human host could buy one and probably one for his mum. And it might be useful because, um, I mean, it'll be nicer than living in this big city. It'll be big and the comfortable chairs. Or maybe he could put on musical operations or, 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 or things like that um, anyway uh, the good news is that the human host has had his second jab this week um, so it means he's fully fully protected now though I'm still having these sort of strange blackouts and not remembering things and and I'm wondering if it's a side effect of the jab or, or that the human host has caught COVID. And because there's, there's two of us in that one body that um, it's affected us in a very strange way. I mean, this week, the human host got into trouble because he was late for work. So they gave him a warning. But I don't understand because I remember the human host had left home in loads and loads of time. And I remember that a full half an hour before being having to start his shift, the human host was around that area anyway, and then I blacked out. And what's even equally strange is, is that something had appeared on the human host's phone as well yesterday, um, or around that time that he was late. Uh, I'll try and show it to you. It, it's, I don't really understand. Hold on, hold on. Um, I think... Um, that? You see, and I don't remember the human host walking anywhere near that area or anywhere that looked like that. It's, it's strange. It, it makes no sense. And it's as if someone was trying to hide something from me. But if if they were trying to hide something from me, why would they video that so that I could see it? It's, it's like, I'm confused. It's like maybe they're trying to tell me something. Maybe they're trying to get me to remember some, something. Uh, um, remember something. Something. 
never happened to me before. What was that? It's... Oh. oh. That was changing that. I've got this throbbing in my head at the moment. Um, oh. I'll try and get on with the report and then I'll have to go because this... Oh, that was very strange. Uh, has any thing like this have happened to the... Other angels on earth, I mean, maybe it is the virus. No. Anyway, um, I'll get back to the report. Um, uh, now, the big news this week um, was that the current leader of the US, called Joe, uh, he came to visit the UK for the very first time as its leader. Now, I don't think Joe is as popular as the ex-leader, the leader that's just gone, the one they tried to stick in the beach, the orange one. Because when he visited a few years back, um, loads and loads of people took to the street and chanted for him. And they bought this big balloon that looked like him so they could celebrate. That was nice. But that didn't happen for Joe, no. He was only met by Hobo, Bojo and Carrie. Hmm. on this big beach thing and um, apparently when they met Joe said that he and Hobo had a lot in common because they both married well above their station which is nice though I wonder which of Bojo's wives he was talking about hmm. anyway now the reason Joe has come to the UK is to attend the G7 summit or summit. Now, that's where an event that happens regularly where the leaders of the seven most advanced economies and the EU um, all come together to talk about summit. Um, now, you must know, well, it's obvious that these people come from very advanced economies because they're able to come from these amber countries and come to the UK and not have to self-isolate for two weeks in those hotels they have to pay thousands of pounds for and get really rubbish food for two weeks at all. No, no, they don't have to do that at all. No, no, no. Because it's particularly, they're safe. It's safe. They're immune or something. Uh, and, and the leader of the EU called Ursula, uh, and I think she's this big octopus witch that is very nasty to this girl called Ariel. Mm. Anyway, Ursula, um, She's particularly, particularly immune and strong because she's able to come to the UK despite the EU saying that nobody should be coming to the UK because it's really, really risky that people might get the Delta variant. So she must be very strong and immune and healthy. And it's so nice to know that the Delta variant is intelligent enough not to infect very important people. So this is good, isn't it? Yeah. Now, now the uh, apart from the US and the UK, the other lead countries attending the G7 is Canada, uh, Japan, uh, Italy, Germany, and France. Though why Italy, Germany, and France are here when their leader Ursula, who's EU, is here because they tell those countries what to do. So I don't know why it should be G7, shouldn't it be just G4? Anyway, it's confusing. Anyway. Now, now the leader of France is someone called Emmanuel and they have made a lot, a lot of naughty movies about him in the 1970s. Very naughty movies, but the very famous naughty movies. 
Now, Emmanuel went for a walkabout, like the Queen does sometimes in the UK, to meet all his people. But one of them just slapped him in the face. Slapped him, slapped him in the face, slapped him in the face! Apparently, he didn't like the movies. Hmm. Now, in what well, an organisation called the FBI and the Government of Australia were very clever this week um, and they managed to arrest hundreds and hundreds of criminals and gangs and what they did was to set up this messaging app which was encrypted and gave it to all the criminals and because it's encrypted all these criminals thought oh it's safe to talk about our criminal acts and, and do all these naughty things and, and be rude about people uh, and they thought, oh, nobody can know about this. But apparently it was the FBI and the Australian government going, ooh, he said that. Ooh, he said he should be cancelled. Ooh, ooh, he did that. Ooh. <clears throat> and when they had enough evidence, they swooped down all at once and they arrested them all, which is very, very clever and also quite sneaky. Now, the name of the app was called Enom. But um, they had tried it before with apps called um, Snitch, Grasp, Grasp, Snitch, Grasp, and Knock, but apparently it didn't take. And anyway, uh, I, I will have to go because my head is hurting and I'll speak to you next week.